All right, hello everyone here. Um, God, I did that. <laughs> hello everyone, DNA here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. So, this is this is a video that completely relates to Deadlocked people. Um, so, if you don't play Deadlocked, uh, I don't know. I guess it would be entertaining. Otherwise, you don't really have to watch this. But, um, or I guess if you're a UA player, either way. So. This is a terrain update, and for a little bit of background, the terrain, I'm talking about the terrain collision for maps. Uh, so here we have the engine.ps3, which is the primary, um, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what you'd call this, but it, it holds most of the information for a map. Um, so this this holds the uh terrain collision so it's at this offset and this is it starts there but i just took it out of there so it's less messy so this is the terrain collision um and so the reason why this is so important is a it's super efficient so i could have i could have a huge map that will not have lag because of the collision uh tests going on as the game is running um if there's lag it's for other reasons uh, as opposed to the other type of cl uh, collision so there's two types the other one um, is a lot less efficient uh, and for that reason is not very practical for like a terrain because I can I can only like there's a limit to like how big it can be before it just makes everything laggy and I'm talking about frame rate lag so we have the terrain collision which is the only solution um, and so that's why that's why we need it. The reason why it's taken it's been like seven months. The reason why it's taken so long is how confusing the format is. Uh, it's just it's a it's an array of pointers. It's a pointer that points to a pointer that points to a pointer that has its own data. Um, anyway, so just recently, maybe a few months ago, I actually fully figured out the format of it. And so if we look at so if we look at it, um, I created this program, um, well actually I created it to import objects into the terrain, which I'll get to later, um, which is the final step. This is just like another step. But I also created this viewpoint, so this will, uh, pro in, in a way more visual way, explain, not explain, but show you the format of the game. So each, each, uh, why so it's kind of split up into rows and, and blocks, but basically you have vertices, which represents like points, and then faces, which connect the points to make like a shape. Uh, typically, well, in this case, it's always a triangle, but in other instances, it could be uh, a square, whatever you want to... Uh, it's just, it <laughs> For deadlocked, it's always triangles. Uh, and then there's R, which is... Um, something I don't understand um, and that will probably create problems later because it actually affects this but I don't know how it affects it <sighs> but that's later so um, we have and that's that's okay that's why it's taken so long so maybe a few months ago um, I don't actually know the exact date I figured out the format so just today because I haven't been working on this every day if I did I'd probably finish this a lot earlier but I've been busy. Um, today I just made um, something that exports the collision into a model. So right now we're looking at um, a program Connor and I, uh, Connor being Badger41, have developed together um, for map editing. Uh, although <laughs> for the most part everything for maps is like separate different this is like the program that combines all the other programs we've made for individual like parts of a puzzle into one because it's just easier to develop a new program and then implement it later um, especially when we're both working on the same program and we don't have a really good system for combining source code anyway so this is the terrain collision which will take a second to convert into a model and in a second there so we're looking at dark cathedral so I'll actually just close this because I don't need it anymore so we'll load this up in cinema 4d because it's a better viewing platform I guess 
Alright, so this is, there's no um, texture data because it's the collision, again, not uh, not actually t the uh, terrain. So, um, you're looking at Dark Cathedral, and the reason why this is so important is because uh, I've had many different tactics to, um, the end goal, of course, is to implement, uh, import a, um, a model such as this, this is a model, uh, into the deadlock terrain. So I could create like a cube or I could create something more uh, extravagant like a dragon or something. I mean I, I don't know why you'd have a dragon as a terrain but I'm just trying to list examples. And you know that, that it's just automated and it's super easy and again as I said earlier the advantage of the terrain is that it's more efficient and so um, it won't cause lag which means it'll actually be able to work so I can have truly custom maps because right now we don't we have one, we have a couple of truly custom maps, but for one, one of them doesn't really work because I said the lag, it's not efficient, the collision testing. The other one is Spleef, which doesn't even really have a terrain, because it's just a bunch of health boxes floating, uh, although Spleef is really fun. Um, and then, you know, blah, 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 uh, but for the most part, all the custom maps we have are either maps ported from single player campaign on Deadlocked, or are ported from the previous Ratchet and Clank game, Up Your Arsenal. Uh, because that's also multiplayer online, uh, which is Hoven. That's the only map we've done. Um, but though we want like I want <laughs> my end goal. What I really I've wanted for a while is Blood Gulch, a Halo One map on Deadlock. That'd be so fun. But anyway, <laughs> I'm dreaming here. So this is this is step one of. I mean, you could. It doesn't really matter how many steps there are, but the end step will be importing. And so the goal is with this is that I should be able to take this and then import it back and get the same thing although I won't be able to keep these because I haven't saved these for the exports um, yeah so well it'll vary yeah alright anyway so that's that's the end goal um, just want to make a video on it to kinda give the people of Deadlock an update because I know for the people that have custom maps installed because it's kind of a bit of a process to install but it's kind of worth it um, I'm pretty sure all of them are excited uh, maybe not Andrew but it's just Andrew <laughs> but I'm pretty sure all of them are excited to get this terrain collision working properly so that we can finally finally have like real custom maps um, yeah, I think I think that's all really. Mm. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be right after this video. I'm gonna be ch trying to work on importing this in to the uh, engine.ps3 file, and um, yeah, have a great day.